If we got together on behalf of our employees, we could guarantee our employees some stability in their retirement plans. And that's what we're looking at now with this grant, this $750,000 grant over the next three years from, from AXA Equitable will allow us to move forward to our employees and educate them well uh, throughout this process as to what they have to look for in their retirement plans and what they have to look out for also. Chief uh, Financial Officer's Office has sent some warnings out. We have sent some warnings out. You can read and, and see in the papers and other issues about individuals who took all their drop money and put it in a program, and then they found out they couldn't touch that drop money for five, six, ten years. Those are the kind of things we want to make sure our employees are going to, are going to avoid. On behalf of the 140,000 plus teachers and educational support personnel that we represent around the state, I am very pleased and thankful to AXA Equitable for, for this grant. We're a vital partner in the IBC, and because of this generous grant, we'll be able to provide a variety of educational opportunities for our, our members so that they can plan successfully for their retirement. Teachers and ESPs work very hard every day to meet the needs of their students, and as they reach retirement, we want to make sure that they have a successful retirement, whether they're in, with this program, whether they're in the beginning of their, their career, the middle of their career, or the end of their career, we'll be able to offer educational opportunities that will benefit each group because they're very different. We have a situation where um, many of our school personnel as they're looking to um, plan for their futures, uh, their retirements, are being victimized and are subject to some of this opportunist, opportunistic fraud uh, that maybe has probably migrated from some of our uh, targets of our, of our senior citizens in our state. It is important and it is absolutely necessary for, public, for the public and consumers to begin to understand the types of products, especially um, with insurance products, that are being sold to them or marketed to them. And it becomes even more paramount to us that as people, especially people in our um, public sector who have given and dedicated their resources um, throughout their careers uh, to, to our young, to our youth, to children in our state, that they get the education that's necessary and required for them to make intelligent, smart decisions about their retirement. I encourage this, I embrace this, I love the fact that we have public-private uh, partnerships that will encourage um, learning for our consumers and education for our consumers, and this is a great way to start that. That is an initiative that the ICA would really like to push forward, and this is a fantastic opportunity to see that, um, see that happen here in our community and throughout our state. On the front end, there is significant research going into how we educate these employees. And then on the back end, we have, the right, we have to have the right tools for them to use to know where they are in their retirement options. Our goal is going to be to uh, deliver a high quality education program with valuable information that will allow retirees to plan uh, not just now for their future, but when their future arrives that they have the security to know that they have the funds available and what was told to them when they bought it is indeed what they get on the back end.